sleeping it off, is he? Oh, I don't know. Well, if you do manage to get hold of him, I'd like a quick word. Voicemail. Hi, it's Leanne. Listen, I'm outside. Where are you? Just give me a ring, right? I mean, I don't want a row or anything, but Simon's missing his teddy. We've done our best to distract him, but he loves that bear. Well, I don't know where it is. Well, Simon cried himself to sleep last night. Tell him that, will you? So, what happened to you? I don't know. Have we calmed down now? Were you, uh, were you waiting for me? Well, I've not got the keys for the shop, have I, so I couldn't open up. Oh, oh, well, never mind. Where's Simon's teddy? Hey? Simon's teddy, he took it with you on a pub crawl and he's missing it, Peter. <sighs> oh! Here. Thanks. Right, where did you go first? Oh, I don't know. Not the Rovers, then? Oh. No. Where are the arms? I, I don't know. Oh, come on, Peter, work with me. He loved that bear. He used to take it to the hospital every day when he went to visit his mum. He used to hold it so tight, I thought he was going to squeeze that stuffing out of it. And when he gets upset, that's the only thing, you know, it's going to calm him down. All right, come on, just think. Can you remember anything about last night? D did you have the bear with you when you left the street? Oh, yeah. I remember knocking back tequila slammers in this cocktail bar, and the bear got hit upon by this tall blonde bird, <laughs> and they went to a nightclub together. Oh, it's all coming back to me, Leah. All right, fine. OK, do you know what? I'm obviously wasting my time. I tell you what, I'll go downstairs, open up the shop, you go back to bed and we'll just forget about Simon, shall we? It suits me, hey, makes hey. me life a whole lot easier. I'm sorry. Do you know what? You apologise a lot. Why not try doing something that you don't have to apologise for? The King's Head. Corporation Road. Right, you went there? Yeah, I just remember they kicked me out. Well, did you have the bear with you then? I don't know. Where's your phone book? It's sort of chocolate brown. White paws. Uh, white paws. Um, I don't know. Um, a foot, twelve inches. No smaller, eight. Oh, inches. sorry, sorry. It's it's probably a bit smaller than that. About about eight inches. Right. Okay. Well, can you let me know if it turns up? But it's just it's really important. All right. Thanks. No sign of it in lost property. Are you sure you didn't go anywhere between the anchor and the cocktail lounge? Why did I take it into town? What stupid point was I trying to make? Can help you out with that one. What? I... Why are you helping me? Because you pay me wages. I'm assuming you still pay me wages. Yeah, I do, but... Oh, I don't know. Do you know what? Believe it or not, I'm actually quite good at helping people. Did it with my dad often enough. Cleaned him up, dusted him down. And besides, I've been on the other side and all. I've done my own fair share of stupid things. You ever broke a kid's heart? Not yet. But neither have you. Well, I've only lost the one thing he loves, haven't I? Oh. OK. Time to go and tell him. Time to face the music. Er, uh, Peter, I think you should go and clean yourself up first. You're a mess. <laughs> you think that's going to make it any better? Can't make it any worse, can it? Go on. I'll open up the shop. Hello, um, I'm looking for a bear. <laughs> Sorry, teddy bear.
You look terrible. I messed up. I know I did, and I'm sorry. Can I see my son, Deirdre? Please, can I come in? You found it, then? Yeah. Did you have a pleasant evening last night? Delightful, thanks. Right, OK. Let's wipe our feet and I'll take your coat off. Right, in you go. That'll be them. Dad, Teddy! Hey. Hello, big man. Yeah, I found Ted. <laughs> Safe and sound. I'm, I'm sorry for taking him off last night, I am. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Simon wants to do his lines from the Nativity for you, seeing as how you missed the show. It's all he'd talk about. Really? I'd love that, mate. I really would. Any time you like, that'd be great. Well, he was the innkeeper. I know he was. So, uh, you could be Joseph. If you'll be Mary. Oh, why not? Fancy <laughs> being the donkey. If you'll be the drunken Bethlehem bookie. Passed out, face down, in a pool of your own... I tell you what, Simon, why don't you use the uh, door as the entrance to the inn? Yeah. Go on, then, give him his cue. Hello? Do you have a room for the night? Sorry, there's no room at the inn. But my wife is heavy with child. You can sleep in the stables if you like. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. That's it. <laughs> well done. Come oh, on, take a bow. Well done, <laughs> that was brilliant, that. That was really brilliant. That was the best acting that I've ever seen. Really, honestly, it was fantastic. Well done. I loved it. <laughs> well, should we go and get some juice, eh? Oh, I think there's some biscuits in the tin as well. She's... How can he do that? I mean, how can he look at me like that when all I ever do is let him down? He loves you. Why? Well, he doesn't know you well enough not to love you. You're all he's got. I can't do this. Well, you don't have to get it right every time. Oh, I can't get it right at all. I'm out with depth, Dad, and I feel like I'm drowning. Oh, no one's pretending that this is easy. I don't deserve a kid like that. Well, maybe not, but what does he deserve? He needs you. And it seems to me that you need him just as much. So flaming useless, you know. I know. No, you don't. Peter, I know exactly how you feel. When your mother died and I suddenly became a single parent, I was absolutely terrified. And why do you think you and Susan ended up with Grandma and Grandpa? It wasn't because I didn't love you. It was because I simply couldn't cope. How come you never said? I never said a lot of things. It doesn't make them any the less true. Why, me, Dad? Come on. Let's get you inside. Yeah. <sighs> OK. Straight after Christmas, I'll go and see Simon's teacher. Only this time, make sure you don't turn up squiff-eyed. Blanche. No, she's right. More than anything, I want to be a proper dad to Simon, and we're starting now. And the first thing we'll do when we get back to that flat is we'll send off them last-minute requests to Santa, eh? <laughs> what do you say? What? Don't you think you've got enough on your plate right now? How do you mean? Why don't you leave Simon with us? Yeah, just till you get yourself sorted out. That's incinerator. Who's incinerator, eh? The body, of course. Oh. I'm not sure. I mean, Christmas is an important time for kids, isn't it? We're not pushing you away. 
You're free to come and go as you please. It just gives you a bit of space so you can get your head sorted out. What do you think, Si? Do you want to stay with Grandma and Grandad, eh? Dad, you're talking all of the best bit. There's your answer. Now, let's see if you can get off the juice. Oh, you needn't have any worries on that score. Oh? Uh, this tenor says you don't get beyond Christmas without getting Kaylide. Yeah? Make it 20 and you're on. Oh, I didn't want to rob you, but if you insist. Oh, and while I think of it... Oh, it's for me. What's this? Just a little something to further your cause. Oh, it's a breathalyzer. <laughs> Thank you. That's just what I always wanted. Call it an early Christmas present. Ta, night. Mm. Oh, hiya. Hiya. Oh, thanks. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for finding Ted. Ted? Who's Ted? Well, I'll give you a clue. His middle initial is E and his last name's Bear. Ah, well, it was my pleasure. I know what it's like losing someone as a kid. I've never quite recovered from losing my toy rabbit on a bus when I was six. <laughs> what was your rabbit's name? <laughs> Funnily enough, it was Peter. In fact, I was that rabbit. So, uh, how are things with Ken and Deirdre, then? Oh, yeah, no, they were great. They even offered to have Simon over Christmas. Oh, that's brilliant. It's great. It'll give you a bit of space, eh? Yeah. Ah, which reminds me, there's an empty flat up there, so... I could brussle you up an omelette. Oh, sorry, I can't. I'm off into town. Oh, OK. It's just I've, I've not done half my Christmas shopping yet. Look, it's, it's not because you think I'm a liability or anything. No, we're still mates. Mates? Is that all we're going to be? Mates? I haven't decided yet. But whatever you do, don't stop trying, eh? See ya. See ya. Oh, I'm sorry.